Hey everybody, Kenny, Sabrina, <laughs> you already know who we are. So we have left Canada and we promised that we would come on live early in the week. Can't get much earlier than a Monday morning. Right. That's right. Sabrina's making breakfast. We are traveling from Canada and we are back in the United States now, headed to our friends, Matt and Maria. Some of you may know them as Nomadic Native. Uh, we're going to spend about, I think a a week or so try to do a full week with them and hang out uh with them for a little while we try to see madame maria about once a year the last time we saw them was in vegas in january it was fun it was fun it's always fun hanging out with those guys they're really fun if you don't know them check out nomadic native you can just search them online you'll find them um so uh some of you guys know that we've had like this weird generator issue going on where we can't run our ac off the generator it runs the fan and stuff like that but it doesn't kick the compressor on uh and it, do, and it has trouble running the microwave but it does everything else it charges our batteries it runs our lights you know everything else all the outlets are hot you know we could run a toaster and stuff so we we brought it to winnebago they couldn't find anything twice. right we brought it to winnebago twice i thought we brought it to Onan twice i thought we brought it to winnebago the first day and then they looked at it the second day i thought maybe possibly and then we brought it to onan twice it's an onan generator N nobody can find out what's wrong with it because every time we bring it to it's an intermittent problem intermittent problem and uh so every time we bring it to somebody it works but we found out why it works when we bring it to them so it is a very strange problem and it's a new problem you know nothing has been rewired or anything like that which would be your first thought when we're at a gas station or walmart or anything like that boondocking overnight or parking overnight at these areas and we go to turn the ac on the fan turns on but the compressor doesn't turn on unless we use a toaster if we push the button on the toaster the to toast our compressor kicks on and starts blowing cold air and it's not just a feeling it's not in there <laughs> we we have a little uh temperature gauge that we can actually test the temperature coming out um but the toaster can only run for seven minutes once it pops there you go yeah once it pops then the compressor kicks back off until we push the toaster back on again so it's not just a toaster thing though if we turn our hot water heater on it does the same thing um if we turn our hot water heater on the ac compressor will kick on once the hot water heater gets the temperature though and turns off, the compressor turns back off and the air goes to warm again. Same thing with Sabrina's hair dryer. So it's a very strange problem that it's looking for a draw to run the AC compressor. And the same thing with the microwave. If we have nothing else on and we try to run our microwave, the plate, you know, you have your little spinning plate, it starts to spin and stop, spin, stop. Then the microwave starts to sound like a tesla coil like a tiny little tesla coil maybe i think what, that what does a tiny little tesla coil sound like when have you ever heard that all the time in my dreams so it's just a really bizarre problem so now we know though that we got to bring it back to onan and tell them and, and when onan does these tests he's, he's like the guy the service guy's coming in he's like look i got everything running in here and your generator is putting out plenty of power. It can handle it all. He's like, I got your hot water heater on. I got your fridge on. I'm running your microwave, the AC. It's a weird issue that it seems to need a draw to power the AC. The it's, best part about it is it's been so hot that the water heater can't even turn on half the time. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. And we're in areas that, uh, we're in areas that are supposed to be cool right now and they're they're saying that they're 20 degrees over what they normally are so we actually stopped at a koa uh last night instead of sweating through <laughs> two nights was enough <laughs> two nights two was... nights of me was enough probably <laughs> sabrina's already easily annoyed throw a little bit heat into that situation although normally you're cold correct but even 90 degrees and, and humidity is a little much so the the part of the title you know we stumped the internet i went on the internet and typed uh, our RVAC only works when our toaster runs. And usually, you know, like, the internet will try to, like, fill what you're about to say. Did you mean? <laughs> yeah. No. Did you mean this? And it was like, 
uh, blank. <laughs> no, nothing came up with that that problem. But we'll we'll bring it back to another service area or something. I think this will be a problem that Matt will like to take a look at, and he's gonna be like, "That makes no sense," and it makes no sense. I you know totally agree. This makes no sense whatsoever. Zero sense. Your camera's doing that weird thing where it goes light and dark and light and dark. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It does that all the time. That might just be the sun coming in and out. Uh, so, so we did do two nights at a gas station, and now we're at a KOA, and we'll we'll be at Matt. We'll we'll meet up with Matt and Maria today. I have this running over here if you want to take a look and see if anybody has questions. Sabrina's making a. I don't know if anybody asked. This might have been a question. What question. what is she making for breakfast? I'm she, not making him breakfast. No, she's not making me breakfast. I already ate. I get up early and eat. Um, avocado toast. She made it like fresh in the RV. I bought Got some, some avocados and there's a recipe for it on the back. So I'm making it minus cream cheese. I don't know why you put cream cheese on that, but. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if when you order it in the restaurant, if you get cream cheese on it. I'm not sure. I feel like there's other things that we wanted to talk about other than, I do have a funny Walmart story, but I was going to save that for another time. We're actually uh, getting close. We're supposed to check out at 11 and we only got a couple, we got like 20, 35 minutes to, to finish packing up and roll out of here, but um, I felt like there was something else I wanted to come on and talk oh, about. Oh, it's full-time Freedom Week here. Full-time Freedom Week. Uh, YouTube's really weird, so some of you might have been trying to click the full-time Freedom Week link, and it wasn't working or it wasn't there at all. YouTube disabled the link, so I'm going to put it back in this video for anybody that's interested in full-time Freedom Week. Uh, if you use my link, it's a free pass. It goes on for a week. I'm a guest speaker. I'm talking about everything that you should be looking for when you're purchasing a new or used RV. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how to do your own uh, inspection of that RV before you make before you make the purchase. But other than Full Time Freedom Week, I feel like there was something else we wanted to talk about. Man. <laughs> That's the joys of life. Yeah, my mind's a total blank. And then once we get off of here, I'll be like, ah! I wanted to tell them something, and now I forgot completely. Any any questions while we're while no, we're no on? No questions. No Everybody questions. Just says it's nice to see us and hi. Yeah, thanks everybody. And apparently, there's a disease spreading over generators. Everybody is having generator issues. You know what? I agree with that. We were in Seattle, ugh, June, July, or something like that, and uh, we were at a campground. I want to say, thirty percent of the RVs there, they had their generator covers off, and everybody was like doing stuff to their generator. They were all like tinkering with their generators. I'm telling you, I'm I'm getting Sabrina on board with this idea. I am ready to take, remove our generator, call Battleborn Batteries, and replace our generator with four Battleborn Batteries. We already have two, so that would give us a six total, and wire it up to a 3,000 watt inverter, and our AC will run off of a, a 3,000 watt inverter. Not all ACs will. Um, and then be just done with the maintenance of the generator, the noise of the generator, and... It's easy to get me on board when I'm sweating to death. <laughs> the problem is it's it would be expensive. So if, if it turns out to be a new, that we need a new generator, a new generator install is about five grand. The Battleborn batteries with a new inverter, I would have to do the install myself to cut the cost, would probably be around six grand, maybe. So... It would be more expensive to go with the battery, but no maintenance, no air filter, no oil changes. But what if that's not the problem? That's my biggest thing, that's is what that what if it's something coming from the generator to wherever the power comes in, and you go through all this and replace all that for that kind of money, I feel like it, it's not the problem. I feel like it has to be the generator, because when we're, plug, we're plugged in right now, AC works pro no, no problem at all, works perfectly the way it should. Uh, when we are unplugged, so we have what's called an automatic transfer switch, and it decides if power is coming in from the generator or if power is coming in from shore power. I unwired it, swapped the wire so that trying to trick it and thinking that we were connected to shore power when we were actually on the generator power. And it still failed when trying to go onto the generator. We only have this issue when we're running the generator. It, it's never an issue when we're plugged in. Uh, so that's why it can't be a wiring issue in the RV because... Everything comes into this transfer switch, and then it shares everything outside of the transfer switch is shared wire. So, it's definitely a generator issue. Could it be the wires from the generator to the transfer switch? Possibly. I don't know what... I don't know. 
I, I think the generator is putting out, maybe it's putting out the proper volts, and I'm not even sure if this is possible, but maybe it's not putting out the proper amperage, but I would feel like that's something that Onan would check right away when they... Yeah, they said this is one of the strongest generators he's ever seen. Yeah, he and... said that our generator is like running like a champ. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I, I, this is one of my favorite, uh, this is my Winnebago, one of my Winnebago shirts. I don't know what he's wearing. Oh. Oh, okay. You like this one, too. Yeah, I do. Um, he, and he was like, I could bench test it if you want me yep, to, but bench. I'm just going to charge you. I think we've spent probably six or $700 <laughs> trying to get this thing figured out, and everybody says it's fine. Yeah. It's very frustrating. Intermittent issues are very frustrating. Uh, <laughs> Those bananas. <laughs> oh, yes. Somebody said better eat them soon. They're getting ripe. So the deal is I wanted to buy only three bananas because I always feel like it's a race <laughs> against time. And I, the bundle had five, and I felt bad ripping it apart, so I just bought all five, and now it's a race against time again. Yeah. Oh, wait, I bought six. I always turn to Sabrina and say, can we talk about something before I say it? And then she's just like, you make me look like the bad guy when I can't say it. We're not going to be on live again today. If you're supposed to wait till a certain time, then he has to wait till a certain time. Whisper, whisper, buddy. I'm going to put a post in our... I'm supposed to wait till 1... I don't know why, but I'm supposed to wait till 1 o'clock today to tell you guys something. So, on our YouTube stories or community, I will post something at the right time. I feel like I can say it now, but I don't... It's not... And see, there he goes again. It's nothing big. I told you. He's always making me look like I make like her the bad, bad person. He's yeah. always like, when we're with people, he's like, do you think I can tell them about such and such? So then if I say yes, okay, great. If I say no, it's like, oh, Sabrina never lets him say anything. <laughs> it's nothing... Uh, nothing crazy, and it's, it's nothing about us. Well, it is, because mm, we'll, we'll be there. It's a meet and greet that we're doing uh, next year. Um, yeah, next year. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's it. I got jeez. I know there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys that I thought was kind of funny. Man, I almost had it, and then it slipped my mind again. You got anything to talk about? No, nothing. Everybody always says in the comments, people that know us and people that don't know us. So the people that know us say, why doesn't Sabrina talk more? And the people that don't know us in the comments are like, why is that dude doing all the talking and she's not saying anything? Why doesn't, she, why doesn't he let her speak? <laughs> and then every time I turn to her... What would you like to talk about? Oh, I, we talked about my back being jacked up the last time we were on live. It's better now, so I'm surviving. She did that with... I say she did that no, from Orange no. Theory. Oh, never. 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 <laughs> it was from Orange Theory. She said she hurt her back putting her pants on. That's what happened. That sounds that, terrible. That is exactly what happened. Don't believe him. This is what happens with old age. No, I'm not old. <laughs> I am. I even got this magnet that I can't actually stick anywhere. Because <laughs> nothing on the <laughs> RV is metal on the outside. <laughs> she brought she, she brought this magnet and she's like, oh, I bought this magnet in Orange Theory. I'm going to put it back on the, on the back of the RV. I was like, okay. No, I went around the whole RV like <laughs> testing things. I went to the car. I can't get it Even, anywhere. I don't know what our car is made out of, but magnets don't even stick to our stick car. To Who knows what they make Epic these things fail. out of anymore. <laughs> So, I guess that's it for now. Um, I saw Dave just popped on. Hey, Dave. Let's see. I think that's it. I think that's it. We don't want to waste all your time this morning. <laughs> just some of it. Just some of your time. <laughs> all right, everybody. Take care. Safe travels. All right, guys. Uh, maybe we'll do some videos with Matt and uh, share some live videos. Uh, we're doing like a harvest. Harvest? Fest? Harvest fest. Yeah. Harvest fest for those guys. So, it should be a lot of fun. And, uh, Which I thought was a fall festival. We'll find out exactly. It is not it is. a fall festival. Matt told me what it is. So <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Have a good Monday. And safe travels out there. Be good. Be safe. And smile. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.